The Indiana Department of Transportation maintains over 11,000 miles of roadway, and we paint those miles of roadway each year, and this is just an isolated incident that happened. The drive-by striping, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Herb Baumeister of Carmel saw it all. I said to my son, they're going to hit that raccoon with a spray gun, and sure enough, they just striped right over its face and neck. You know, didn't even move it, you know, no effort to, you know, get it out of the way. So I happened to have a Polaroid with me, so I took a shot of the thing. A raccoon, which met its demise on the yellow line, became one with the paint. The raccoon has since been removed. This is all that's left. This was just, you know, uh, the, the painter should have had a chalk line drawn around his career by state officials. There was no excuse for that. I mean, the poor thing deserved a better fate than that. So just what is the explanation for this? For that, we went to the State Highway Department itself. Well, the Indiana Department of Transportation feels like this is a regrettable incident that did happen. Um, this is not our standard procedure. Well, they should have picked it up or moved it, I guess. Larry Roy says he didn't paint the raccoon, but with a lot of traffic around the painting truck, he understands how it could have happened. Sometimes you're going too fast, and there's too much traffic, and they just don't let up enough for you to stop. We are taking it seriously, and like I said, we, we iterated, reiterated our policy to our employees so that it won't happen again in the future. And the highway department does deserve credit for clearly missing this unfortunate feline about half a mile away. What a shame. It would have taken just a second to kick that thing or move it somehow out of the way. It deserved a better fate than that. On the north side, Rick Dawson, Wish TV, News 8. Herbert Baumeister's friends describe him as a man who had nervous tendencies, a fairly explosive temper, and a strange sense of humor. He was just a major prankster, and with that in mind, he just, uh, anything for a laugh he would do, but on the other side, he was still pretty compassionate, too. He didn't want to take him to too far extremes to hurt anybody. Randy and Hartley worked with Baumeister for several years at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. So did Alan Fishburn. I was shocked. I was uh, mortally shocked because uh, in knowing her for the past uh, 15, 16 years, I found him, you know, as, as a spontaneous, uh, do, do any, any type of thing person uh, within, you know, certain reasons. Police found the remains of five people on Baumeister's Hamilton County estate. Last week, Baumeister killed himself in a park in Ontario, Canada. Investigators have told News 8 he shot himself in the head, leaving a suicide note that discussed many things, but not the discovery of the bones at his estate. Police have not publicly identified Baumeister as a suspect, but privately, officials have told News 8 he was under suspicion. Baumeister and his wife operated two Save-A-Lot stores, but they had had financial troubles. The Baumeister's West Washington Street store is closed, and there's now a for sale sign in front of the property. Now employees say they're still waiting to be paid. He called all of the employees and told us to meet him in the parking lot here at 5 o'clock on Friday to pick up our checks. And when we all showed up, we waited around till 6 to 6.30, and he never showed up. Those same employees say Baumeister's behavior at the store was erratic. He was jumpy. He was a nervous man. He was a very nervous man. Large bones have been packed due to the, uh, the wild animals and the rains that we've had could have, have, have washed him on down even further. So that's why we, you know, I think we're finding them in different Right now, no, there, they could be anything from animals carrying parts of uh, the, the skeleton away and dropping them off here or there. It could be it's on a hill, so possibly even rain won't run off as much water as we've had lately. People just have, uh, just have missing people, and uh, they've heard that we uh, have found human remains on the property here, and they're just inquiring as to what we have and letting us know what who is missing out of their families or what it might be what their questions are whether they have males or female missings the age of those people if there's going to be possibilities for dental records, 